Hello folks, Scott Grove here, Dr. Groovy from GroovyMusicLessons.com Had a buddy on here um, just asking me to teach him the beginning of Hummingbird by Restless Heart. A lot of people will think that um, Albert Lee or Ricky Skaggs wrote this and did it. No. Restless Heart. Link below because why I'm smart and over all the past 12, 13 years of being here on YouTube, I have stuck to my guns for 99% of my videos and not done covers. Whereas people like um, Marty Schwartz will be soon um, eliminated from, which is sad because so many people have learned from him, um, will probably go down the drink because you're not allowed to do copywritten stuff. Um, YouTube has gone ape shit bad and that stuff's going away. Sure, copywritten stuff should be copywritten and obeyed. That's why I've done it. But yeah, I'm just going to show you the beginning of it, uh, which is enough in and of itself. The rest of it you guys can figure out on your own. Again, the link is below. That's allowed. And the whole song's allowed. Why? Even though it's uploaded by somebody else? Who knows? But a very cool intro and it was suggested just for the intro so that's what we're going to do uh today's guitar of choice one of my old time favorites that i've had tons of that's right the gibson corvus three three why three pickups okay then they've got the corvus two and the corvus one that's right corvus one one humbucker corvus two two humbuckers corvus three this okay the can opener, as it's known, or the bird in flight. The crow is actually what it breaks down to um, in its simplest terms. 1983, as all of them were. And then they came out with the Futura, which is just a set neck version of this with two humbuckers and a purple finish. Sometimes a different finish, but usually purple. And they slapped a couple of hundred extra bucks on there just to try to save um, the wood that they already cut out. Because these just weren't flying. Get it? Flying. And it means a crow. Ah, funny stuff, Scott. Okay. So we're going to drag this over there and show you how this tune goes. Alright? Alright. Okay, so here we go. This will be actually done on the lowest three strings. So the E, A, and D. We're going to start off with one on the low E string. Picking downward. the third fret, twice on the A, up and down, so. okay, now third fret, pull off, or you can play it all single notes, okay, either way you want to do it, listen to it, both versions, see what you like. I'll put both versions below. Okay, so again, third fret on the A, pull off, third fret on the E, second fret on the E. Okay. And again, pick them all or um, do hammer ons or pull offs. Okay. Same beginning, down up, open D string, okay that's the way it goes. Second fret. Okay, so second 
fret D string, pull off to open. All these will do this now. So second to pull off to open to A. Same thing. Fourth fret. to seven and that's it different ways and I played them all three different ways I think that time <laughs> okay one more time again okay the other way yeah acoustics ringing all over the place the other way that I played it which is not correct, but I tend to do it. It's backward that way. When it's actually... Okay, so I was always one off until I came in and wanted to show you guys again. So again... Okay, that's it for today. Dr. Groovy gonna sign out here. And yeah, quick lesson. Why? Because the battery's way down. Otherwise, I would have given you a backing track. But again, uh, Restless Heart version below. And then I'll put the Ricky Skaggs Albert Lee um, link below that. Okay? So check them out. Play along with them. They're uh, pretty much the same except for the uh, Ricky Skaggs version's a little more bluegrass ish, where the Restless Heart thing is. Chugga, 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 uh, good, good, good country. Okay, great stuff. Um, Russ's heart, anything they did was great. So you guys be groovy, and I am out of here once again. Happy gobble, gobble. <laughs> Later, bye.